All right, Blizzard done and gone done did it. We are doomed. Diablo 4 is officially doomed and I don't know how to fix it. Let's get right into the season one patch notes of how Blizzard possibly doomed Diablo for all time. Let's get into it. What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be going over the Diablo 4 patch notes that released July 18th earlier today. So I got to read over these earlier while I was at work in great detail, and we're going to kind of just hit the highlights and just the main things that are really, really worrisome and just kind of breeze over the rest because that's all it really is. Now, we're going to break down each of these things, and then we're going to give my final thoughts on all of it. So let's just dive right into it. Now, I have been testing since the patch notes came out for just about under an hour um, after getting home and like a lot of the stuff just feels really good You know, like even though they have nerfed a lot of things almost every single class except for sorcerer uh, Damage output still feels pretty fine, especially when it comes to my main class like shred Which I know a lot of people were worried about we are easily still slicing up a nightmare dungeon tier 47 with a 100 level uh, character and still you know it seems like damage didn't really change that much even though they they fixed the the double and triple dipping for druid specifically now uh we are going to get into some other things here the five seconds um delay here for for it is kind of like annoying but uh outside of that it's damage really doesn't feel like it's fallen off maybe maybe it's just me and testing a few of the classes that I have that are level 100 or higher level 80 70s etc but what it does seem like is that all of all of the survivability has really just been nerfed down so uh it feels like everything has been nerfed down to how squishy the sorcerer is because the the sorcerer is super squishy and instead of just you know buffing everything else or buffing the bad stuff etc now everything just seems really squishy like the lack of survivability is really bad but we'll get into my final thoughts here at the end but let's go over all the cool things that you guys need to know because there is some pretty cool stuff that i like but the majority of it i don't night don't like and we're going to talk about why this is probably one of the biggest l's for an update that we uh can go over here so uh let's get right into the patch notes uh, so they, there's new unique items and legendary aspects. There's uh, six new uniques, which somebody had already found. Big shout out to my community here in Discord. Somebody has already found the Flesh Render, which is the Druid unique in the game. And it's our, only been five hours since the patch notes have been live, which is kind of cool. Uh, debilitating Roar and Blood how deal damage to nearby poisoned enemies. It's actually a really, really cool uh, unique. So, But there's six unique items as well as additional... Uh, legendary aspects, which are really cool for each class. I think a lot of these are just going to be really cool ways to make builds uh, way different and just bring some new ones to the game. There's a lot of bug fixes in the game. A lot of it is just stuff that we kind of expected. Fixed it a lot of uh, uh, bugs, gameplay bugs, uh, class bugs, etc. You guys can read through all of that. Um, however, there is the stuff where they nerfed stuff for uh, Hammer of the Ancients as well as Druid on the Stormclaw aspect, which you guys just saw me showcase. And they kind of did this. They they nerfed a little bit on Bone Spear, just a tad. Uh, they nerfed a little bit of Rogue, and then they seem to not really nerf Sork, but kind of gave it a buff in most areas. Uh, the only big one that they really nerfed was just the uh, Devouring Blaze, but everything else seems to be really just bug fixes and stuff that wasn't necessarily working correctly. Okay, uh, Hell Tide and Fields of Hatred got some real bug fixes. Same thing with items and aspects. Monsters got big uh, fixes as well as some events, etc. So we're going to scroll down and go to the juicy guts of it all because I know that's what you guys are here for. So loading screen updates because this is important to Diablo as well as, you know, instead of making them some things better, we're going to add cool little load screens. I will say, though, to their credit, the load screens are actually pretty cool, but uh, this is... You know, it's kind of just like, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Um, the UI gameplay updates are pretty cool. Alter Lilith unlocks are now account wide. The map discovery is now account wide. Don't forget to log in with your main character, just like my druid here. All you have to do is log in once. 
uh, and you'll get all the Fog of War cleared as well as all of your altars account wide across all of your characters. This also does include going in to the brand new season. And let me make a note here because I've been asked this before. You do not have to do this today, July 18th of recording of this video. You could do this even a week in to the new season or the seasonal content. You just have to do this. Um, I would suggest do this before you start playing so that way you get the maximum buffs. Also, keep in mind that you do need to complete the campaign in Diablo to actually access the seasonal content. Okay, moving on. So, they got those in there. Uh, Whispers no longer reward Sigil Dust, which is kind of weird, but I guess they buffed uh, Whisper, the, whis the Tree of Whispers, because nobody's really doing it. So, they buffed those, and then the overall loot quality of Silent Chest has been buffed. Um, the Leave Dungeon time increased. Do that doesn't really make sense to me at all. Um, the monsters to move around so it chases down side quest renown reward values are increased which is really cool and then dungeon values are uh, increased as well because if you did everything in your renown here guys if you do look and look at your actual renown here if you do all of these everything you are required to do about 15 or less dunge side dungeons per zone sometimes 17 or 16 this one was only six to complete which wasn't too bad. So it actually really does help your renown, which I think is actually really, really cool. Um, however, the best things that they really brought that I really do enjoy and like is the world tier buff to world tier two. This is actually really, really good. Now bonus gold is increased from 15% to 20. Monsters do now drop 15% more items. This is really, really cool. I think they love the fact that world tier two is good and better aligned with its difficulty. I still feel, however, that these buffs probably aren't going to be enough to really move the more of the casual base off of world tier one, one but we will see. Now, uh, level scaling inside dungeons and most overall uh, overworld territories have been adjusted. Okay, so up to a maximum of five levels behind. So what this means is, is that as our new leveling progression is going to increase or, or change, I should say, now instead of us fighting stronger monsters that scale with us, they're just we're always going to be at least five levels ahead. In the examples uh, shown here on the screen, if a player is below level 55, the monsters are 55. If you're 56 to 60, the monsters are 55. If you're 61, the monster is 56. Ergo, five levels behind. This goes all the way into World Tier 4. Okay? I don't know, really know how that this is really going to help your progression and faster because they nerfed experience. Okay? So now, instead of getting big adjustments for plus three levels or higher, it's actually been reduced. Instead of getting at least three levels higher, 25% extra uh, EXP bonus, now it's only 15%, So, and that's 10 levels higher just to get that. So you're doing seven levels more higher to get 10% less XP. I don't really see the offset of that. It really does kind of suck for your progression, so everything is going to be super, super grindy. Uh, next, this is also applies to monster levels and world tiers going all the way up. So uh, they really nerfed being able to level alts in the game now, which really sucks. And I don't understand why they would do this. I mean, they want us to really get to the juicy end game in the, in the juicy parts of the game. But now you're delaying it and making it even harder to level ultimates or ultimates alternate characters. For example, this is what they changed as far as the EXP buffs in parties. So if you have a level one character and you're on tier four and you're fighting level 100 monsters, Prior, you got the 25% uh, on the level 100 um, EXP, and now they've reduced it by the additional 10%, which is what you here see here. So leveling alter alternates are going to be a little bit harder and a little bit more grindy and not as fast, uh, which really, really sucks. I don't understand why they would do this. It just feels like they just want to make it even harder for the game to be played in general. But Helltides, Helltide monsters are now three level higher instead of two. And now instead of buffing all the other chests, because Torture Gift of Mysteries is the best chest, now they're making it to where it costs 250 cinders instead of 175. So increasing it by 75 more. Uh, and I understand that like the Torture Gift of Mysteries is the best chest because of the rewards that you get from it. But instead of buffing the other chests, now you're increasing it and taking it longer to open this chest so it's making good things be harder and not making necessarily bad things or bad things in the game better. So instead, we're going to nerf the good things and not fix the bad things, which is basically my overall review of this entire patch notes, these 6,600 pages. Now, balance updates. Let's get into it, okay, because this is what uh, a lot of people are very, very worried about. Once you go through each of these classes, you're really going to find that there's a lot of 
nerfs to the majority of the classes here, uh, except for Sorcerer. There's one main thing that the Sorcerer does get a nerf on, and that is the Devouring Blaze. Bonus critical strike damage has been reduced because it is too strong uh, because you are required to use Firebolt in your build. Besides that, every other class got a huge, huge nerf. I'm going to leave the link to this down in the description below so you guys can really just check it out depending on what class you are playing. But it really seems like everything has been nerfed. Now, on top of all this, there's some general um, aspects that have been nerfed. Disobedience being the best defensive um, skill or aspect in the game. They have nerfed this heavily. I don't know why because the resistance doesn't work. So now you're taking away even more uh, armor or defenses that we need and they're nerfing all of the damage reduction in the game so now this goes to what i alluded to earlier which is how squishy we are so it's in facto if de facto making the game even harder to play so although your damage isn't really affected your defenses suck now so everything is squishy and sucks uh i could be exaggerating here but yeah, Butcher's Cleaver uh, got some changes here. Nightmare Dungeons. However, this is probably the best thing out of it is that the drop rates for items have been increased in Nightmare Dungeons for, to, from 5% to 10%. You removed a 20% uh, chance to extra equipment to drop from Elite Monsters. I don't know why they would do this. Uh, I don't even know why that was on there in the first place. It makes sense why we're killing all these Elites and on Nightmare Dungeons and Helltides and not getting anything except out of chess. But... Now there's a chance for extra equipment to drop by 10%. Nightmare Dungeons now have a 50% chance to drop a second legendary item upon completion and now give three rare items upon completion up from one. These two things are by far the best improvements or the best thing in this entire 6600 uh, patch notes update that we got. I mean, it's really not even close. Monster scaling... Uh, and parties has been increased from 85% to 100 so now it's even harder to play in groups. I will still tell you that it is groups is still the best way as far as doing every everything. But again, why nerf group play and not buff solo play doesn't make any sense. But here we go. Adjusted scaling of Greed Shrine. We've talked about this multiple times. It really sucks. Um, there's no longer a limit on how many materials you can refine into higher materials at once. Thank God. Uh, and outside of that, there's a lot of lucky hit chance barrier mastery skills and resistances that uh, can now, it says resist all elements can now appear on shields. The core stat bonuses have been nerfed down to 25% from 50. So now that reduces some of your damage and defenses. The cooldown and imbuements have also been re uh, reduced as well as critical strike damage. The devs really felt like that. Not only vulnerable damage, which is also nerfed, crit damage, and your cooldown reductions are vital to almost every single build that you have. So instead of buffing the other affixes that aren't that good or basically irrelevant, we're going to nerf these and make playing builds even harder. I still really do not understand the logic behind all of this, except to just make the game even harder, even longer, and more grindy. I don't mind a more difficult game, but again, you're nerfing the good things that are about the game and not fixing the bad stuff about the game or making uh, particular affixes or skills or things that need to be improved in the game better. So instead, we're just going to make everything worse, which to me makes the experience overall worse. But again, guys, we still have to really test all of this and see all these changes. It could be okay. And then going into the season one with the malignant hearts, I mean, it could be a huge buff to us, but then it just feels like we're back to what it was pre patch notes and now we're required to have the malignant hearts for the builds to be a little bit more viable or as viable as they once were so that is my overall thoughts on the patch notes guys you really let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about all these notes let me know what are your overall thoughts are and really get the conversation going because overall i'm extremely disappointed even as a content creator or even coming from a, a casual uh player's lens if you will um and you know, like the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.